Hey guys, Jamie the Divine Seer here. What's going on? So it's raining outside here and it was windy earlier and I knew looking at the clouds, I just felt this storm brewing and I'm like, oh, there's going to be a storm. <laughs> I know there's going to be a storm. I don't pay attention to the news. It's all depressing, whatever. I go by my body. So I knew something was going to happen because I had back pain, but that's besides the point. So immediately like, boom, thunder started rolling, rain started hitting hard. I'm like, yep. So obviously there's a purification happening and that I'm feeling like that is kind of what I'm being geared to talk about right now is like there's a storm brewing. I'm seeing like something about the tower coming out in my third eye and I'm also feeling like change. There's a big change about to happen, whether this is in your life or someone else's life that is in front of you that you're around in their energy. There's a big change. So be prepared. There's something about preparation that I've been feeling for days now for like three or four days. I've been feeling preparation, preparation, preparation about something, some sort of big change. It could be a move. It could be um, some sort of like, you're going to find out some, you know, <clears throat> information about a family member. There's something coming up. This is what I'm feeling. So I wanted to give you the messages before I go into my little spiel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Only if you like my vibe. If you do not like my vibe, then that is okay. We have an awesome tribe. We're all about healing, elevating, growth, ascending, you know, no people pleasing. We're all about being who you are, being your authentic self. That's who we are on my channel. So if you're all for that and you like authenticity and you're all for bloodness, no sugarcoating, I vape, I like, you know, I do whatever. doesn't matter. It's my channel. That's the way I look at it. Okay. I do believe in God. I am a psychic medium. Okay. I'm a healer. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I do just besides like I just do the tarot here and I do some channelings, but in the readings, it's so much different. So if you do want a personal reading with me, Jamie, the divine seer, three, two, one at gmail.com or Jamie, the divine seer at gmail.com. Everything's in the description box. If you want to send me donations, please do so. If you choose to, everything's in the description box for where to send me donations. So just want to let you guys know that. Okay. Don't forget to again, like the video. Okay. And leave a comment if you feel drawn to, um, use your discretion when it comes to these readings. I am a conduit for spirit. I give messages. I am doing exactly what I'm guided to do. This is, this is who I am. And this is part of what my, my purpose is. So if you don't feel like this reading is yours, if it does not resonate, please don't make it fit. If you have a little bit of resonance, but some things don't make sense, don't take that. doesn't mean you have to take that as yours. Okay. Always, always, always use your discernment. Any reader that sits there in like most of us will tell you, you have free will. Use your discretion. Be discerning of these readings. Use your intuition. Okay. If it doesn't feel right, it's not. That goes with life in general, period. But just want to let you guys know that. All right. I'm just the kind of it. Don't kill the messenger. This is what I'm getting. All right. So with that being said, I'm feeling led to use my witch, my witch cards. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to talk to us about today in the current energy. I use my intuition to read the energy of the cards. All the signs may come out. It is not important. I will tell you if I feel drawn to tell you the signs, but most of us have all signs in our chart, so it doesn't really matter. However, use your intuition. Okay. Bless these. Bless my subscribers. Keep us all safe from harm. No, ne no negative intentions or ill will coming to these cards or influencing this reading. Only positivity, please. Only good vibes. I have already called my spirit team and your spirit team in here before I got on the reading. So therefore, all will be good. What is the current energy that you are going through right now? And then we're going to see what is incoming if that comes in. Okay. All right. They're saying one more. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Messes up, spirit. Okay. All right. Chariots here anyway. Okay, so we're taking this as the bottom overall energy. Something is coming in and it's moving really fast for you. Whatever this is, this is cancer energy, okay? Whatever this is, is coming in really fast for you, okay? 
this could be um, even you yourself, like moving into another kind of situation, maybe moving somewhere or, you know, some sort of fast movement. Chariot is the fastest card in the deck. The thing about the chariot I'm feeling here is this could be a mindset that you finally changed. This could be something, yeah, I feel like this could be travel. Maybe you're going somewhere, uh, something about physically moving, um, residency, maybe out of state or, or, or something. There's something about motion, things being in, being put in motion behind the scenes. You feel like you're not going anywhere, but that's not true. This is happening right here behind the scenes. The chariot is moving fast. Whatever is coming, whatever you're doing, it's going fast. So that's the overall energy that I'm picking up right there. Is there anything more I have to say about this? Yeah, I'm hearing like you're going to go far. There's something about you going far. I don't know what this is. This could be an idea, a plan. There's something coming in that's coming fast, though. Like it's going fast. Yeah. Yeah. This could be something about stability, foundation. I don't know. This, let's see what more is coming in. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hold on one second. Okay, so Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles actually flew all the way over there. So I feel like this could be a home because this is a house right here. You could be moving home. You could be thinking about moving home, like moving from your home to another place. I said that already, but I just feel like there's something here. This could be Christmas time too. I'm seeing a wreath. It could be around Christmas time that you get your home. There's something about stepping into something new, Some step stepping into something different. I feel like... Maybe a lot of you are closing off your heart for a little bit because the Four of Pentacles is not only about stability and foundation, it's also about closing off the heart. He's covering, he's holding it like this. It's like, you don't want to share whatever you have. You're scared to share whatever you have or you don't want to share whatever you have. There's something about you holding on to something, holding on to it for dear life. And I'm hearing spirits saying, let go. Just let go of the control of it. Let go of whatever you feel, you know, is not coming. It's coming. You just got to let go of when or what or how, whatever. Okay. Two of Pentacles. There's something that you can't make a decision on. I'm hearing like you're juggling. You're making, you, you can't make a decision on something. And you need to, I'm hearing you need to prioritize whatever it is that's important in your life right now. You need to prioritize that there's something Get a list and start really writing down everything that you need to write down because there's something coming here. It's coming in fast and you're not even, you're not even expecting it. Queen of Cups energy here. Yeah, it's like your, your intuition is on point. You're super intuitive. You're super intuitive. You have this cup. You want to give this cup. But right now you're taking that cup and you're using it for yourself. You're putting that love into yourself. You're doing everything possible to like make sure you hold on to your compassion. Like this is another thing too. Like this is closed off and this is opening your heart. So I feel like what they're saying is because your intuition, because you're really going with your intuition, you're trying to figure out, you're trying to make a decision about something. It's like, And it could be about a home. It could very well be about a home. It could be about stability. It could be about foundation. It could be about a job. It could be about something that you're holding close to your heart and close and dear, um, near and dear to your heart. And you're trying to figure out a decision. I'm getting the two of pentacles brings balance. Yes, the infinity symbol. Yes, but juggling in your head, going back and forth, not knowing what to do. And the queen of cups is using her intuition Needing to use your intuition to make this decision, to figure out what it is you need to do. Bring balance back into your life. Give the cup to yourself. Because when you give the cup to yourself, these three cards came out together. It's like the nine of cups is here. Whatever this is, it's going to bring you wish fulfillment. Whatever this is, is going to be extremely, extremely good. It's going to be something like you're not expecting, like I said. Absolute wish fulfilled, emotional fulfillment, happiness, joy. But the thing is, I feel like 
with this card here, I feel like that's your inner turmoil. It's like, oh my gosh, then like, I should be really happy about this, but I'm really not. I don't know how to react, right? You're resisting change. Change is coming. I already said that. You're resisting change. You're resisting it because you're not sure, is this really going to make me happy? Is this really what I'm supposed to do? But there's some sort of change coming in and it's causing like havoc inside of you possibly, or this could be, if this, if you finally get something you want to get, right? You finally get something as it's coming in. Maybe spirit's bringing it to you. And all of a sudden it makes you happy, but then you have all this drama around you, all this conflict around you. I feel like you're worried that something is not going to go right and you're like resisting change. And I feel like that's what it is. You're worried that something is not going to go right. You're resisting that change. I want you guys to be able to see. I'm getting warm. I want you guys to be able to see the cards. So whatever this change is that's coming in, whatever this is, whatever this is, okay, whatever it is, it's going to make you happy. But you are automatically going to be kind of like ready for battle. Unless it's getting things in order, maybe having a lot of people around you. There's something. Let's see more about what's coming in. Because I know this sounds probably confusing right now, but it'll make sense. Spirit usually like, spirit always, <laughs> always makes sure it makes sense. Yeah, it's like I feel like you've been stuck for so long. You've been procrastinating maybe for so long. You've been staying in one spot for so long. And Spirit's like, just change your perspective. The more you change your perspective, the better it'll be. It'll make you happier. Whatever decision this is. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is still at the bottom of the deck here. Something about an offer maybe coming in. Maybe this is a job that you're trying to change or something. Career, I'm hearing career change. There's something coming in about change and you're worried that, you know, yes, it's keeping you from being stuck. You've been stuck for a while. The crow is saying, get the hell off of the tree. Change your perspective. Look at everything from a different angle. Like an aha, an epiphany, like something's got to give. I'm hearing something's got to give. It's like you're worried about... There's got to be a compromise. There's got to be some sort of working together. This is your spirit team coming in and saying, working together. We're collaborating with you. We're compromising with you. We're helping you. But I also feel like this is like doing your research, needing to do your research on whatever it is. Okay. Putting the work in, making a compromise with spirit. Maybe you're telling spirit, maybe you're talking to God and you're praying to God. Like it's on top of that. The two of pentacles on top. Maybe you're asking God, okay, if I do this, can you help me with this? And like you're starting to collaborate more with, you know, your spirit team. But the bottom line is there's this cat here too, intuition yet again. You're having to use your intuition. There's something about you having to use your intuition about this. There's some change coming in. It's coming in rapid, fast, rapid, fast. And it's like you need to come up with a plan. You need to strategize something. There's that wind picking up. You need to strategize something. Put out a plan. Okay? I feel like... Hmm. Let me see what next card comes out. Yep, I knew it. I knew it, Spirit. I just sat there and said, I said, maybe you're asking Spirit to help you this way and like you're going halfway. There's spirit, intervention. You need to put out a plan. Divine is going to intervene. Divine is going to help. Divine timing. The wheel is in your favor. It's coming. This is destined. Whatever this changes, whatever this is, moving residence, you have to use your intuition about it. It's going to make you really happy, but you're going to resist it. You're going to be a little hesitant. You're not sure about it. Whatever this is, strategic plan. I feel like you know, with the Queen of Cups being here, you have one cup. Maybe something is coming in where somebody is strategizing to be with you. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're you're finding out certain things. There's something about needing a plan and spirit saying, we have you. All you have to do is put in the work. All you have to do is quit resisting the change. 
Because whatever this is, it's almost like every single time you're happy, you fight it. Every single time happiness comes towards you, you fight it. Because it's like, you've always known disappointment. You've always known that crap, right? But Spirit is saying, not anymore. You're not going to have disappointment anymore. You're not going to deal with it. You have to change your perspective. The minute you change your perspective, Spirit can come in and be like, okay, you get it now. You got the memo. You got the memo. Divine timing. Divine timing is at play. They're intervening. They're coming in. Luck is in your favor. Wheel is turning again. They have, they hold the keys to everything. You just have to sometimes like, I'm smelling cologne. I'm smelling some sort of cologne and I don't, I don't know what cologne that is, but I'm smelling cologne. It's, it could be a um, old man's cologne. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know if somebody's father or grandfather used to wear cologne or somebody's husband, something. I don't know. But I'm smelling cologne. So like, this is coming in. And it's because whatever this is, Interesting, we got nine and nine here. Okay, wait. So with the nine of pentacles being here, it's about you having your confidence. I think it's like, you're not sure if you're going to be confident enough to make this decision. You're not sure you're going to be able to walk through, walk over that threshold. Maybe it's like, yeah, you're living on your own maybe. And maybe it's, you know, you're single or like you're the catch and you're the package and you're self-sufficient, you're independent. And it's like, a, you know, maybe you've been asking spirit for help with something. And there's the train. There's something about you being in the nine of pentacles energy. That's pre-empress energy. That's like one step closer to empress, which is like the empress attracts, right? She doesn't chase, she attracts. So it's like you're attracting, thank you, Spirit, you're attracting a lot of abundance. You're attracting a lot of prosperity. You're attracting a lot of fun, a lot of happiness. You're making yourself happy. You're doing everything on your own. You're doing all the right things. You're very sexy at this. Right now, you're extremely sexy. <laughs> extremely sexy is what I'm hearing. But it's like you're confident. You're so confident. You know you have the confidence. You know you can do something. But you resist. You resist. This is interesting. This is a different reading. Different, different. Okay, I'm not going to take those reverse. I told you guys change, right? Transformation, transition. You're going through some sort of change. Some sort of death, okay? Some some parts of you died, and you're now you're supposed to leave them behind. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe that's what this is. You're trying to hold on to your old self, and you can't. You have to let go of your old self. It will make you happy, but you're resisting it. By you letting go of your old self and changing your perspective, the divine is coming in and saying, we're working with you. It might feel like, it might feel like deception. There's some sort of strategy here. Somebody is trying to devise a plan. And I'm wondering if the divine is doing it because the, div <laughs> the divine is amazing. With the divine timing and everything else, I know you guys are like, ah, oh, divine timing, blah, blah, blah. And I get it. But it's like all good things come to those who wait, right? Be patient. I'm seeing the temperance card here. There's this transition that you're going through. I also feel like whatever comes in, it's a transformation. There's something going on. This whole thing has to do with transformation and transition. Death. Every death has a rebirth. Every death has a rebirth. Maybe this is your ego death. Maybe there's a big, big change. It's like this kid is offering you something on the horse and you're like, I don't know if I want it. <clears throat> but you're in that confident mode. You're in this confidence mode. You 
feel something coming. You feel, yes, you feel something coming. It's almost like you feel the end is near. There's some, yes, thank you, spirit. The end is near, light at the end of the tunnel. Whatever this is that you've been resisting, it's whatever this is that you've been fighting within yourself, that you've been asking spirit about, whatever you have to go in your intuition about, you know your intuition is on point. And you uh, you have double cancer here. The Queen of Cups is here too. And that's cancer. You got Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're all, again, they're all here. But something is, something's coming in quick. Something's coming in quick. It could very well be communication coming in from someone that you haven't talked to in like forever. But again, this is action. You have another action card. Action, action. These, both of these cards are the fastest cards in the tarot deck. Fastest cards. This is also Cupid Zero. This is communication. This is action. This is fast, fast movement. It's like, whatever, I think this is growth. I think you've been growing. You've been changing so much that things are moving really fast. And you're starting to realize that somebody's on my left side. I can feel them right here. <clears throat> but this could be communication from someone you haven't heard from in a long time. Probably it could be somebody that was deceitful. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. This could even be an old boss that you get a call from or you get a text message from or something about, hey, you know, sorry, things didn't work out. Would you like to come back? Da, 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 da. Something like that. But you need to use your intuition. But there's a change coming in, and it could be this, the communication. There's some sort of communication. You're going to hear some sort of news. Some sort of communication is going to come in at you, and you're going to have to, you're going to have to really look at it. There's growth here. Maybe, so, like, there's two threads of fate here. The red thread of fate, right? On two wands. Cupid's arrow. Huh. Again, someone's coming in fast. My back just started hurting. Yeah, it, and this came on the chariot. Yes, I knew it. 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 Okay, so somebody's been somebody's been in healing. Somebody's been thinking a lot. Someone has been thinking a lot. This could be you or someone else. Been thinking a lot, been in healing mode, been resting taking their time, right? Biding their time, waiting it out. There's something about that. Because you've got the Wheel of Fortune on top of the Four of Swords. And <clears throat> it's like you're waiting, you're waiting for something. There's something about waiting here. Four of Swords is healing, going into healing, going into rest mode. It's like Spirit saying, okay, you don't really have to do too much. Just be, just rest, stop overthinking, stop the, stop resisting whatever is coming. It's going to come. Whatever this transformation transition is in your life, it's going through you right now. Stop worrying about it. If you are being told to sleep, sleep. If you are being told to drink more water, drink more water. Spirit will guide you. Okay. Spirit will guide you. The divine is here. They've orchestrated this whole transition, this whole transformation, whatever this is, and whatever communication is coming in for someone, because that eight of wands is there. And I know everybody is so sick of communications coming, uh, my person's coming back, all that kind of stuff. This is communication that's extremely important communication coming in. I'm feeling extremely important. It might change a lot of things. Maybe it's going to change your perspective on certain things that were left the way they were or the way maybe somebody you thought somebody thought about you or again old boss old workplace maybe you're getting offered a promotion and you're kind of like eh, I don't know if I want this whatever is coming it's going to make you extremely happy it's a wish fulfillment but you're not seeing it as a wish fulfillment you're there's some, okay, spirit, thank you. You're showing me something that's coming in, but you're looking at it like, what do I do now? 
Like, is this what I manifest? Is this what I asked for? Because it didn't come in the same exact way. And you got pumpkin here. Pumpkin is transition. Again, transforming. So bottom line here, eight of pentacles flew on top of the nine of pentacles. You've been working on yourself so much. You have been putting the work into yourself, doing your shadow work, 25, 22 on the clock when I said that. You've been doing a lot of work, a lot of, maybe you're trying to distract yourself from actually doing the work, maybe, of doing the work of the transition and doing, and, and Spirit's saying, you don't have to do too much. You can rest now, child. You can rest now, my child. You don't need to put so much effort in. We have you. We have you. Yes. Eight of Pentacles being here. It's like working on yourself, doing what you came here to do. Keep working on your confidence. Keep working on your craft. Whatever it is that you're doing, you don't have to do too much. I'm hearing we will save you. We will help you. She's very intricately doing her craft. She's really focused on that. Really, really focused on that. And I'm hearing there's work to be done, yes, but you don't have to just, you don't have to keep pushing too hard. We're gonna make it happen. You can rest, you can relax. I said something's coming in fast, I'm not surprised. Knight of Cups on top of the chariot. Now we're gonna go into exactly what's coming. Wow, huh. There's somebody here that wants to be able to cross with you, that wants to be able to cross the water, but is not crossing the water, not sure if they should offer this cup to you because of the fact of how much you've changed, maybe, of how much work you've done on yourself, you know? There's a lot of emotion here, but somebody wants to offer you something, and I know, I know, I know, and it's coming in fast. And they want to get on that horse and ride. They want to cross the threshold, cross the water with you, but they're afraid because you've changed so much. That's what I'm feeling with this. Maybe this is somebody who maybe has been asking friends about you or three of cups is usually reunion, reconciliation, celebration. It's third party. It could be third party. Um, it's friendships, it's, you know, maybe you're wanting to go out and have fun more. Um, there's something about, this could be a witch's coven, <laughs> mirroring witch's coven, or like having good friends around you. Maybe this person coming in has a lot of friends around them or they're asking friends about you or something. Something about this. Okay, let's see what's coming in. Let's, let's see what this change is with the Knight of Cups being offered to you. What is this change, Spirit? What is this change coming in? What is this offer coming in? this offer coming in spirit let no negative energy or influences come to these cards what what offer is coming in spirit i am hearing promotion so a lot of you might be getting a promotion a job a job that you didn't even think was possible maybe you're going to be offered more money and you're like kind of like shit but then i have to put in more work maybe this is like something's going to trigger you i don't know what is this offer coming in, Spirit, with this energy coming in? Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, trains going outside. There's news coming in. You're going to hear some sort of news, some sort of communication from someone. All right. What is this cup of love coming in? Because Knight of Cups is a cup of love, right? It's a knight that offers love. It's an action card. You have three action cards already here. Huh. You have three action cards already. Okay, what is this couple of coming in? Oh my God. 
I knew it. I saw it. And that is exactly why, exactly why I picked this deck. Exactly why I picked this deck. I saw that card and I friggin' knew it. Anything else? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, temperance. I don't know if I said temperance or patience earlier. Yeah, it's like it's divinely orchestrated again. All right, so three of wands came out first. Knight of Cups came out yet again. There is some sort of manifestation coming in. That's what this Knight of Cups is. There's a manifestation coming in. Your ships you've been waiting for, you've been watching for, whatever this is. Excuse me. This three of wands is waiting. Constantly waiting. I said something about waiting here with the four of swords, but that's also healing. You've been waiting for something to happen. You've been waiting for something big to take off. You've been putting in the work. You've been asking for the manifestations to come. You've been sitting here putting in everything that you need to put in. And you're like, you know what? I'm just, okay, fine. I'll just let go. But your manifestations are coming in. Your ships are coming in. Whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking for is about to hit. Knight of Cups is here yet again. Someone is coming in to offer you something. Someone is coming in to offer you their cup of love. <sighs> Someone's com coming in to offer you this cup. I can't believe the cards. I'm just kind of like, to me, like, wow. Someone's coming in to offer you their cup of love. And it's like, it's your victory. It's like something, it's like, it's successful. It's going to be successful, whatever this is. Because you've been asking and praying for something and it's finally coming in. This could be a new partner coming in. This could be someone that... You know, you've been manifesting and trying to bring back in because I'm not even surprised. I thought this was one card. King of Swords, Queen of Cups. There's a train again. King of Swords is, I've, I've said it before, law enforcement, somebody like that. But it's also somebody who's very truthful can be very cutthroat with their words, can be very blunt, doesn't sugarcoat, can hurt when they say something, when they speak. But when they come in, they give you the truth. They, they're not a bullshitter. They're very, very um, honest and clear. They're giving you clarity, right? Whoever this is wants to offer you, you got Queen of Cups twice, okay? Pisces and Cancer energy so far that I'm seeing here. Libra energy, um, Sagittarius, Leo, um, Aries energy, Pisces, Cancer again. So bottom line, like somebody wants to offer you, you're in this Queen of Cups mode. You're in this Queen of Cups mode. This person has a lot of love for you. My God, do they have a lot of love for you. The Queen of Cups is extremely loving. They have so much love. It's like when you get that cup from that queen of cups that loves so much, it's like loving heart, right? It's like the most love you'll ever get from somebody. And the reason why I was saying this is coming in is because the Hierophant is here. Hierophant, with this transition and transformation that you were going through, somebody's coming in, seeing this change and loving the change. They're nervous about it, though. They are nervous about it. But this is like high level commitment. This is a higher level of commitment. That could be a higher level soulmate. That could be a marriage on the table. Hierophant is marriage. I'm, I'm just going to call it like it is. Her Hierophant is marriage. Temperance right here. This is <laughs> like finally, like the vibrational frequencies that you both are on. The alignment is there. It's like. Your third eye, their third eye, it's almost like there's telepathic communication is what I'm seeing with this temperance card. One foot in, one foot out. As above, so below. As within, as without. You've been asking for this manifestation and all of a sudden it comes in and it's kind of like, you're like, holy shit. Like, you know, again, take it out, it resonates. But the angels are here. You're very highly protected. You're an earth angel. This person knows that. 
whoever's coming in, this person knows you are divine. You are like goddess material. I'm seeing the empress card in my third eye. They want to marry you. They want to put a ring on your finger. They've been watching you for a while with the page of swords. Okay. They've been watching you, watching you. Look, page of swords looking at that earth angel, right? That's temperance. That's your spirit team concocting something and putting it together. And I'm not surprised that I put the temperance underneath the Knight of Cups. I'm not surprised that I put the Three of Wands with the Hierophant. Like, this is a manifestation of yours. What else is coming in with this Knight of Cups spirit? Who's coming in? Yeah, somebody chose you. Could be an Aries. Could be Sagittarius. Could be a Taurus. Somebody chose you. This person right here, two of wands. This person chose you. They're not looking back at the past. They don't want the past. They're looking towards the future. The world is in their hands. You are the world to them. This person has been watching you, has been really, really paying attention. Determined. Really, really determined. Boss-like figure, right? Yeah, you got one page here, but you also got two kings. You got the Hierophant. You got the Knight of Cups. Maybe this person was like a page before. Maybe this person was a page all the time, you know, when you saw them before. And now all of a sudden it's like they went from a king, from a knight to a king to an emperor. From a knight to a king to an emperor. I can't play with that shit. But they chose you. There's something about choosing you. Being at a crossroads, they made a decision. Queen of Pentacles. There are you. You're the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pe Pe Pentacles. You are marriage material. Hierophant. So you got three of wands, Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles. You are marriage material. You are working on yourself. You're independent, self-sufficient. Queen of Pentacles is on top of the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is the same exact energy, okay? Loyal, committed to self, committed to who they're with, committed to their person, whoever that is. They're the ones that people depend on, rely on. They're the ones that are trustworthy. Everybody wants to be with an Empress, which is the Queen of Pentacles is this, the next one to the Empress, Marriage material. This person wants to marry you. This person sees you as, you know, absolutely stunning. This person is very attractive. I mean about this person. What is this offer coming in? Page of Wands is here. News. News that is going to bring balance back to whatever it is. Whoever this is is going to bring balance back in. Again, chariot, moving fast. Whatever this is, whatever this offer is from this person, it's going to move fast. I don't see the Knight of Pentacles here at all. Now you got a King of Cups. You have a lot. You know what? You got a lot of fucking offers coming in, for real. I feel like this is one person, but you still have a lot of offers come in. People look at you and want to marry you. People look at you and want to be with you. You are everything. You're the full fucking package. You check off everybody's box. And it's like, they're like, shit. How do I put a ring on that finger? How do I lock, like, lock that down? Because you got the king of swords here. You got the emperor. You got the knight of cups. And then you got the king of cups. King, oh, shit. I didn't even realize that until now. Same row. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, right there. This is Cancer and Pisces, right here. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy for Queen of Pentacles. Chariot is Cancer energy. I'm telling you right now, this person, they have a lot of fucking love for you. A lot of love. Unconditionally love you. Want to be with you. Want to put a ring on it. 
Yeah. What else with this offer, Spirit? There's the truth. They're coming in to bring you clarity, bring you truth, speak their truth. They want to tell you everything, whoever this is. They're not going to lie to you. This person is going to explain how they feel about you. They may keep some things hidden, but they're going to explain how they feel about you. That's what that is. You might get a little defensive. You might be protecting your energy right now. Not sure like if you want to let this person in. There's something about this person explaining how they feel about you. Show me their feelings, please. Show me their feelings about you. Show me their feelings about you. They've been thinking about you for a while, reflecting. Show me their feelings about you, the lovers. I can't make that up. King of Pentacles. That's their feelings about you right here. Empress. Take it up or down. Yeah, okay. So... They've been thinking about you a lot, reflecting, isolating, going in hermit mode, thinking, 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 queen of, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles right here, divine pair. You got a divine pair here, divine pair here. No lie. This person has been thinking about future, thinking about practicality. This person is loyal, committed, same thing as you. They're reliable, dependable. This person sees you in their future. You see them in your future, like the minute... It's like you were resisting whatever this change, whatever's coming, you were resisting it. But now it's about to be here. It's about to come. So with this King of Pentacles right here, you're also in that stability. This person's stable. This person is very, very stable, wanting to come in and offer you a future, wanting to settle down, wanting to grow, evolve with you because it's been a burden on them. They've been thinking about it. You're the fucking empress. I did say I saw the empress in my third eye. Empress is here. They view you as the empress. Their feelings for you are growing. There's something about growth here. Empress, right here, they see you as a fucking goddess. I told you guys, the queen of pentacles is the next best thing to the empress. Pre-empress energy with nine of pentacles. Queen of pentacles. Empress, lover's card here, lover's card here. I said, how do they feel about you? Lover's card, the lover's card. They feel you are connected to the divine. They feel you're like an angel, you're divine. This is Archangel Gabriel coming in or Archangel I, Raphael, whatever you guys want to call it, whatever angel you guys think it is. He can't get enough of you. This person here, no gender in tarot. He's looking at her, she's looking at the divine. She's looking at God because you've been praying, right? This person's been praying for you as well. They're coming in and they've been losing sleep. They're coming in hot. They're coming in fast. Another action card here. They've been come. They're going to come in fast. Maybe they were hot and cold. You have three pyramids in the background too. Three and three and three. That's all about collaboration, compromise. That's your spirit team. I always say threes are like spirit team. But this person right here is coming in hot. Maybe they were hot and cold. Like maybe they used to be hot and cold with whoever they were with before. Maybe they had relationships in their past or they were in their marriage and they were kind of like back and forth. This is the player energy here. This is the in and out, hot and cold. But this is also fast passion, very passionate energy. So is the King of Wands. King of Wands is not here. But with the Knight of Wands, this person wants to rush in. They're afraid, but they're going to rush in because they want to come and explain to you how they feel because the nine of swords is here. They've been losing sleep about this. They've been anxious. They've been nervous. They're scared to talk to you. They're scared to come in and say, this is how I feel. This is what I'm offering. This is what I have on the table. They're afraid you're not going to, they're afraid you're not going to take their offer. You're the star. You are the star right here. They see you. They put you on a pedestal. Nothing you do is wrong. They look at you and, you know, they literally see you as a complete goddess. They see you as somebody in the spotlight. You know, if you are on a platform like myself, they see you as somebody who's balanced, aligned, stable. You are a wish fulfillment. A wish is coming true. Again, stars keep coming out 
in the readings, guys, just saying the star card keeps coming out in the readings. There is a wish fulfillment that is about to happen for you. Anything else we need to know? Show me. Yep. Thank you. Divine is intervening. Yep. This person is going to literally like there's competition here. Whatever this is, there's comp whatever competition there is, they're going to fight. They're going to fight it. They're going to fight it. Because they know you're the catch. They're going to fight for you because they know you're the catch. You're the one. They don't want you single. If you are single, they don't want you single. They want to lock that shit down. They made a choice. Okay. They want you and only you. Divine is intervening. Divine intervention. When anybody comes within to try to block whatever blessings they are, or there are, whatever the divine wants, and anybody tries to come in and block it, that person's automatically returned to sender. Okay? You cannot block a divine connection. You cannot block anything like that. Whatever is meant for you will never pass you by. If you are destined, because this is destined to happen, if this is destiny, you can't stop destiny. You can't stop fate. It's going to happen. Okay? You got to remember that. This person is destined to be with you. This is your person. You got the emperor and the empress, king of cups, queen of cups, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles. You got the hierophant here. Like, I mean, shit, you got the star. Yep, yeah, told you, they're coming in. They might be impulsive when they come in because the Knight of Swords is very impulsive. There are no, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. There's no pages here except for the Page of Swords. I don't see any other. Oh, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. This person went from a page to a knight to a king. Yes, they're knight here. Huh. You got the emperor in here too. This is somebody who's rushing in fast and they are going to protect it. They're going to fucking, they're going to defend whatever this is. They're going to fight. I also feel like this is your spirit team as well. You know, if anything, I just said that if anybody tries to come in and try to block this union, your spirit team's like this and we're fighting. We're fighting. We're defending. We're protecting. So whoever this is, they're rushing in fast. Knight in shining armor. Dun, da, 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 is what I'm hearing with that. You might be a little bit defensive. Maybe this person was defensive before when you first met them, if you even know this person or will seem that way when you meet them. But <sighs> there's no more Knight of Pentacles, guys. Yeah, Knight of Cups is slow, but you got Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. You've got all action cards here. Action is about to be taken. Whatever wish fulfillment you have, it's about to come true. It's about to happen. Let's see. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? One second, guys. I just want to see if I got a... Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, Spirit, hold on a second. Magic in the air. Yeah, see? Do we just have a full moon or we had a new moon? We had a new moon in Aries. When's the next full moon? Do I take these cards? Mm. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. I got to figure something out. Do we want to pull more tarot? And just let you guys know what else is going to happen next soonest actions, right? All right. What can you expect? I just heard, what can you expect? Let's do my black deck. Let's see what else. What can you expect? The cards, please, Spirit. What can you expect from this person coming in? And like I said, this could be one person or this can be many because you got a bunch of a bunch of kings here. 
But I feel like this is your divine pair because you got too many pairs here. You got three pairs here. This is a fucking divine counterpart. Huge. Destined. Destined. What can you guys expect here from this person when they come back in? I'm hearing honesty, loyalty, commitment. What can you expect? What can my collective expect when this person comes in? Hmm. Everything's going to come out. Yep. I knew it. Wheel of Fortune. I don't know how many times Wheel of Fortune has got to come out. That's three times. Divine Intervention. That is destined. I'm telling you. When... When the cards keep repeating themselves, that means that we're good. It's like all set. This person has been watching you for a while, Knight of Pentacles. They've been slowly creeping in, slowly creeping in. They're on the horse. They're waiting. They're waiting for a sign from you. Possibly what you can expect from this person is they're slowly coming in. They might take it slow with you or try to come in slow, but behind the scenes, they want it fast, okay? Okay. The moon is in reverse. The moon is in reverse, and I know I was asking about the full moon. The secrets are going to be illuminated. Stuff is about to come out. You're going to find out a lot of stuff. I said that news is coming out. You're going to find out some communication. Maybe they're going to call you or text you or something. Whoever this person is, everything's going to finally come out. You're going to expect, what you can expect is this person who has been in hiding, who has been waiting, who has been healing, and really, really taking like, you know, their time with you. I feel like this person is going to illuminate everything, tell you everything that has happened. Okay. It could have been, again, friends interfering in whatever this was, keeping you guys apart. It could be, and this is part of the, this is the transformation. I feel like this person's been watching your transformation, been waiting for your transformation to enter, or maybe they've been transforming too. And that might be something that you find out. They've been changing. They've been, you know, changing for the better for themselves and really, really healing and doing the work and whatever. Okay. I do feel like they've been talking to people about you. I do feel like, you know, they want to celebrate with you. They want a reunion with you or some sort of union with you. Divine intervention is here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Divine intervention is here. This is the wheel of fortune. Again, destined this whatever union this is divinely guided divine intervention divine timing it's all on spirit's time don't force nothing don't try to push it's okay this person if they come in slow and they want to make things slow they want to take their time fine but you know things behind the scenes are happening fast it doesn't really matter this person Okay, this is going to be a tower moment for you. <laughs> it's going to be a fucking tower moment for you because I feel like you don't expect this. You don't expect this to happen. It's like you are just like living your life, loving yourself, putting on your, you know what I mean? You're not expecting this tower moment. This is a fucking breakthrough for you. This is huge. This person is going to come in with an apology Whatever they did, whatever, like, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling uh, telepathic communication big time. I said that already before. I'm also feeling like this person's feelings are growing for you. Absolutely growing for you. Maybe they've actually connected to God more or connected to spirit more or starting to see a change in themselves. There's communication coming in. And I just said that. I just said that. I can't. I cannot make this shit up. You got the same fucking cards. Same, same cards. I think all three decks. So you got Ace of Swords here and Ace of Wands here. I said this person's gonna come in with an apology. They're gonna, they're gonna, you know, tell you some sort of truth. Ace of Swords is here. They have no choice but to come and tell you the truth. They know this. Okay. 
whatever you're going to, you're about to get clarity on a situation or on something that was going on in their life, possibly, or you're about to get clarification on what, why spirit had you wait for this for so long. Okay. Why this manifestation wasn't hanging already. Ace of wands here. This is a new brand new passionate beginning. Both aces are beginnings. Okay. A cycle might have had to close in order for this person to realize who you truly are. And now they're coming in and they're coming back. This could be somebody new. Take it how it resonates. But this Ace of Wands right here, new passionate beginning. Hierophant, this person wants to marry you. This is a high level of commitment. All right. This is marriage. This is spiritual awakening. This is ascension. This is someone that sees you and wants to marry you. You may get proposed to by this person. You don't know. You don't know what to expect. This is what I'm pulling out. This is the expectation. What might happen? Now, again, future is always changing. So you all have free will. Okay? Just because I say this happens in the cards don't mean it's going to happen the next day. It could. Could very well. But you have the power to create your own reality. You have the power. This is the this is divine, man. This is divine. Okay. You got you got a big time. As long as you're patient. Okay, you got to be patient. There's something about yeah, it's like, again, with temperance, again, with Sagittarius energy, you've got Taurus energy, Virgo energy, Pisces energy. This person could be a Pisces coming in. Uh, you got uh, a tower, I think, is Aries or Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You got all the signs, don't matter. But this right here, again, with the third eye, I just said something about the third eye, telepathic communication. It's like you've been, maybe you're having dreams about this person or this person's having dreams about you. There's some sort of visions maybe you're having. Um, sun is coming up in the background. As above, so below, as within, as without. Exactly. You're creating your reality within and how you want to see it, but you're working on yourself. So you're creating on the outside, but you're also bringing in. in. You're like a master magician. This person has been patient. This person is also an earth angel. Maybe this person didn't know they were an earth angel in disguise. Maybe this person didn't know who they were until you. Maybe this person didn't see their potential in their life until you came around. Okay? Maybe you haven't met each other yet. I don't see the six of cups here. It doesn't have to be somebody from the past. It could be somebody from the future. But I'm seeing high level soulmate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just said something from the past. Huh. Maybe, okay. Maybe this person had to be patient because of something else. Okay, hold on a second. Whoever this person was, whoever this person is, whoever this person was, whatever. It doesn't really matter, okay? Either way, your spirit team is bringing this person in because there's an emperor here too. But I'm seeing two of cups in reverse, okay? This is someone who's not in a relationship who might have just left a relationship that was a betrayal. Maybe this person didn't want a relationship in the past or left. A, there's something about Ten of Swords being here and that's betrayal, that stabbed in the back. But they're letting the pain go. Maybe, okay, they're letting the pain and the betrayal go of a past relationship. Because Two of Cups is a divine union. Two of Cups is um, a partnership. And the reason why I say, you know, maybe they're letting go of that is because of the fact that it's in reverse. If it was in Two of Cups mode straight up, with this Ten of Swords straight up, I tell you, expect, you know, this, this, and that. You know, betrayal to happen maybe with that. But I feel like they're letting pain go of from a um, from a past relationship or maybe even a past marriage. This could have been a past marriage. Maybe there was a divorce that happened. There was something. Some sort of transition or change they had to go through. Three of swords. They're letting go of the pain. They don't want to focus on the heartache anymore. 
They don't want to focus on the pain anymore. Okay, because their pain, their suffering, this is something that they couldn't, they didn't want to, like, uh, judgment in reverse is, um, if it was, the, if it was upright, it'd be resurrection, redemption, it'd be a second chance, it would be, you know, karma, it would be, um, you know, someone from your past and your present affecting your future, right? But it's in reverse, one one zero zero ten on the clock when I said that. So I feel like this person had to let go of something that was in their past, that it was their karma, and they had to, yeah. Whatever this is, because I got four reversals right there, right off the bat. And this person had a lot of heartache and a lot of betrayal in the past in a relationship that they wanted a second chance with, and they gave a second chance or third chance or whatever how many chances they got. And Spirit said no more. No more with that other relationship. This can also be you. Seeing that two of cups, seeing the judgment, seeing all that, that could be you saying, you know what, I've been patiently waiting for whatever this is, you know, and, and all of this happened to me. But there's some uh, thing, there's some emperor coming in, Aries energy. Judgment, I believe, is um, Libra. Two of Cups is Cancer, Scorp no, Cancer Pisces. A lot of swords. A lot of swords here. So I feel like this person wants to come in and collaborate with you. This person's an emperor. This person had to boss up, had to control, take control back of their life. Whatever they needed to do, they're taking back control of their life. And they're wanting to work with you. They're wanting to come in and work with you. This is also your spirit team concocting this and bringing this emperor in. This, this person here went from a page and a knight to an emperor. It's like they went from a boy to a man or from a girl to a woman. Take out resonates. What else can you expect? Hmm. Yeah, no, it's not. Ah, uh, yeah. Whoever this is, maybe this person was manipulative in the past. Maybe this person's still manipulative. Maybe this person fed lies to you. I don't know. But I'm seeing this person doesn't want something over. They don't want this over. Whatever this is, whatever you've been manifesting, they've been manifesting you too. Whatever this is, they don't want this over. They don't want this done. Okay. I don't like the fact that all of these are reversed, but it is what it is. They don't want this with you done. Because whatever this was is in the past, because the judgment has to do with past. Death? That's not wanting something over. Not wanting closure. This king of swords. In reverse. Manipulative energy. This person... This person sees this with you, okay? You made them look to the divine. And this one, interesting. And this one, oh yeah, it's just opposite. The guy's looking at the girl, the girl's looking at the divine, yet again, okay? It's something you've been praying for. But I feel like if this person comes back, like say that you say you already were with this, with this person, this person's manipulative and they're like all this kind of stuff. You don't want that person. You don't have to take this person. But I feel like this person had to go from a king to an emperor. Anything else, spirit? Cut the deck. Where? Okay. Five of wands. Knight of cups. They've been fighting it. Yeah, they've been fighting it. They've been fighting offering this cup. Yeah, they're telling me to take this one too. Yep. <laughs> they've been fighting, they've been fighting offering their cup. Five of Wands. There was a lot of interference with this. Whatever this was, there was a lot of interference. There was a lot of drama, a lot of conflict in their life. And they couldn't come out of it. They couldn't get rid of it. They couldn't close it out. And now it's like there's a lot of fighting. They've been fighting themselves and in denial, they want to offer this cup because you're the star. You're their wish fulfilled. You are literally getting 
You're getting a wish fulfilled. You are getting a wish fulfilled. Is there anything else? Seven of Pentacles. Yep. You have a bright future ahead of you. You literally have a bright future ahead of you. Seven of Pentacles. This, you're going to have a bright future. Period. You don't have to worry about your future. Let me see. If there's any Oracle cards I want to get for you for advice. Okay, so why do I feel like I need to do these ones? Do I need to do these ones, though? Mm. No, I don't feel that. All right, let me do the angel answers. I'm hearing the angel answers. And then I'm going to get off because I'm getting tired. Mm -mm. Okay. I want to see what the angels have to say. I'm hearing like something about possibilities coming in. Reconsider. Something about reconsider here. Whatever it is, reconsider your options. Reconsider like how you think about things. Reconsider like whatever it is you're thinking. Reconsider that. There's a reason for it. Something good is coming in. I'm telling you. If you believe miracles are happening, open possibilities. Like spirit, what are you, angels, what do you have to tell us? What do you have to tell us? Abundance, improving health. Yeah, see, you're getting everything. You're getting everything. Don't stop. Reconsider. Don't stop. Like, keep pushing forward. Keep moving forward. Even if you think this isn't going to happen, it is. Whatever this is, it, if you so choose. Abundance and improving health. All right? Don't stop. Keep doing what you came here for. Keep doing what you're doing. It's up to you and meditation brings answers. Absolutely. It's up to you. Reconsider, but it's up to you. Okay, that's what Divine is saying. There's something that you're supposed to reconsider and think more on. Maybe it's you want to rush into this, but they're saying to slow it down. Okay, because... You don't want to stop what you're doing, what you got going on, because you're getting an abundance and improving health, right? I'm interested, like, okay, so these two right here, if you look, it's crazy how these both came out. You got the caduceus going up, and then you got the caduceus, like the DNA strands going up and going down. So it's almost like you're getting downloads from, you know, the sun, from the sky, from God's source, and then you're getting, you know, your, your downloads are... Um, you're putting it in, you're getting grounded, more grounded. Thank you, spirit. Meditation brings answers. The more you meditate, the more things will come to you. The more you bring it into your vortex, right? Wow, that one flew. That one flew a long way, right? Anything else, spirit? Huh. Yep, that's what I thought. Success. Yes. Okay. So this is why they're saying not to focus so much on that. Whatever that is, don't focus so much on it. Because when you focus so much on your manifestations, it may not come out right away because you're like watching. Um, yes, grandma. You're watching a, huh, I see you, watching a pot boil. Okay. But success, you're going to have success, whatever this is. All right. Whatever this is that you want, it's going to be successful. And it's going to come in the perfect timing if you believe. You got to, I told you if you believe, I heard that. If you believe, if you believe that it will happen, it will. You have to have faith and trust in the universe. Okay? Spirit says no need to worry because in perfect timing, this will be brought in, whatever this is. So keep focusing on you, keep doing what you're doing. Don't stop. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Keep going. You have to keep going. Because 
the more you keep going and, and doing things that you love and doing your passion and like putting that love into like yourself and like pushing it out there, the better it'll be. Okay. Spirit wants you to believe. Make sure you believe in yourself. Make sure you believe that things will happen. Miracles happen every single day. Know that worry just causes more worry. Worry causes the worst energy ever. Perfect timing. It's going to happen when it's in the right time. There's that DNA strand yet again. DNA strand yet again right there. There's the Merkaba. There's the Merkaba. Flower of Life and Metatron's Cube all in there. Okay? And there's a the Caduceus on top. I'm telling you, everything is working out the way it should. You're right where you need to be right now. Stay in the present. That's when your manifestations hit more. Stop worrying so much about the future. Yes, think about the future. What is your end goal? But then don't worry about how it's coming. Don't worry about when it's coming. Just be. Just learn to be. You don't have to do too much. You put the manifestation out there. You say that, da, 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 and you let it go. And it will happen. I know. It's easy. Especially if you're a powerful manifester, you can do it. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a great day. And yeah, don't forget to believe in yourself. You're amazing. Love on yourself. And just have gratitude for like everything you have, everything you had, everything you have now and everything you will have. Bye.